Hi everyone! Um, today's look was actually inspired by um, J-Lo. I was watching a lot of clips of American Idol because, I, I don't know, I don't really watch the show, but everyone I work with is like, oh my gosh, have you seen the way she does her makeup and it's really pretty. So um, I don't know exactly what the artist used on her. I actually heard that she does her own makeup, so props. Anyway, um, yeah, so I tried, I looked at a bunch of photos and I, this is, I tried to recreate something, so here it is for you. It's very shimmery, very pretty. It's very J-Lo. She's all about the sparkle and all that stuff, so I busted out all my shimmers and sparkles and, um, came up with this. So if you would like to recreate this look yourself, go ahead and keep on watching and I will be posting photos on my blog and quite possibly if I can find the original photo that I saw. So um, anyway, thank you so much and I'll see you in a little bit. Bye! Okay, so to save time I've already primed my lid with um, Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Looks like that. Ooh. Now, for the first color that I'm going to use, I'm actually going to use this 108 Oval Shaped Brush by um, Crown Brush. And I'm going to use Naked Pigment by MAC. I'm just going to pack it on the brush. And place it on the inner third of my lid, just right here. Even though I am going to be using shimmer all over, I still want to focus it right here because I'm going to make, um, we want it to be really dark on the, the outer corners. So you, you really want this color to pop, so just keep on, um, applying it, layering it on top of each other. Now the second color that I'm going to use is... A really, it's a darkish brown one. I'm, I'm actually going to mix two colors together. I'm going to mix um, Hustle and Dark Horse, both from the Naked palette. These two right here. And for your crease, I'm actually going to bring it higher than my then my natural crease. I'm going to bring it up and then make an outer V and you really want to wing the shadow out. Now you, with a soft brown shade I'm going to use the deluxe, I don't know what it's called, brush that looks just like that. It's a fluffy tapered brush and I'm going to place that right above the outer edges of the shimmer just to fuse it out a bit. We don't want any harsh lines, but I know that with shimmers it's kind of impossible to get a harsh line because they tend to blend all together, but with this, you really want to try to be careful with that. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pick up some more of that color in case you lost any of it, just to reapply it and darken it. And remember, you can always keep layering until you get it as dark as you want it to be. That's the key to blending. You have to keep applying and reapplying. Now with um, a more chiseled brush, it's a, actually like a pencil brush. This one right here. I'm going to use Creep by Urban Decay. It's this one right here. It's black and it has a lot of shimmer in it. And you're going to place it right on the outer corner of the eye. So now that you've already darkened the outer corners um, of your eye, I'm going to take Virgin by Urban Decay. 
this one right here. It's the lightest color in the quad and I'm just going to place that right, that's going to be my highlight color, right beneath the highest point of your brow and blend that down. And for your lower lash line I'm going to use Coffee Pencil by MAC and you just want to, you don't want it in your waterline, just right underneath your lash line. And make sure you get it in between all the lashes. Now blend it out with a smudger brush. And above that, I'm going to use those two browns that I used in my crease. And this can be as... This is really thick. She actually has a lot of shadow right beneath her lash line. So I've already tightlined my eye, um, my waterline and my, um, my tightline. I've already done that with MAC Smolder. And I dipped it in Black Track Fluid Line. So now that we got that out of the way, I'm going to go in with Ben Nye Luxe Gold Powder in Iced Gold. And I'm going to put that in my inner corners. Lightly dust that and I'm going to put it right above the Naked Pigment. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeliner now, and I'm going to use that same Black Track Fluid Line with any eyeliner brush. I'm just going to use this one right here. Okay, so um, the eyes are finished. I already applied mascara and um, my Red Cherry lashes. I used them in number 203, is my absolute favorite. So for cheeks, I'm going to be using Pinch O Peach by MAC. And it looks like that. And um, just with any blush brush, I'm going to be using, what is this called? It's the 405 Contour Blush by Coastal Scents. And um, to have that real like shimmery J-Lo look, what I did is I'm just going to use the leftover um, pigment from the Naked, the Naked pigment. And I'm going to actually go in with a fluffier, smaller brush like this. And I'm just going to run that right over my cheekbone. Now for lips, my lips are already prepped with um, Rosebud Lip Solve and the liner that I'm going to use is called Boldly Bear liner. It actually came out with the Quite Cute Collection. And the lip color that I'm going to use is actually by L'Oreal. Everyone's raving about it. It's called Ferris Nude. It looks like that. 
it's a very matte lipstick and it's very pink but um, right over that I'm gonna go in with Lorac um, multiplex lip gloss and this it's 3d lip gloss and it's called brilliant uh, <laughs> it looks like that I just got it today it was like two for 28 which is like a $44 value and I looked out because I love this stuff I've actually never popped this open Okay, so that completes the final look, the very JLo inspired shimmery look. Um, I will be posting um, pictures on my blog that I'll be putting a link at the bottom of this video. And all of the product listing will be listed there as well. So, um, yep, there's the close up of it right there. It's very pretty. That's my boyfriend. Um, yeah, so anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all soon. Bye.